I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Let us try to understand how the cross product can be applied to find area of a trapezoid. We have a very special case here and the question is how do you find area of a right angle trapezoid using cross product? Now what is a right angle trapezoid? We know in a trapezoid we have a set of parallel sides, right? Let's say these are two parallel sides. Now when it is right angles, then one set is at right angles. So we have two right angles as shown here. So that becomes a right angle trapezoid, right? Let me close this figure, uh, joining this so that it forms a quadrilateral as shown here. So this is a right angle trapezoid and we need to figure out how do we find area of a right angle trapezoid using cross product. As you know cross product gives area right. So cross product magnitude. So let me write like this magnitude of cross product is area right of parallelogram in general right so cross product or you can say a rectangle but in general a parallelogram now in this case let us assume that the side which is at right angles to the parallel edges of the trapezoid is represented along let's say the y-axis and this is along the x and let's keep origin right there so let me define vectors for simplicity h as a vector which is from o to a and from a to b let's say this is the vector uh, p for us and from o to c let this be vector q for us so vector p is parallel to vector q and we have assumed it to be a shorter than q right so kind of like this it could be longer, but in, as shown, we'll assume this to be short. Now we need to find area of the trapezoid OABC. So what we can do is that we can have a cross product of the vector H cross vector Q. So if I do vector A cross vector Q, I get area of a parallelogram, which will be a rectangle in this case, which is going to be this area. So let me write this as C dash. So we get area of rectangle O A C dash C correct as shown now if I do a cross product let me do a magnitude of this cross product has a direction but only the magnitude part is the area part it's a scalar quantity right so if you do the cross product of the vector H with P in that case, you get area of rectangle. Let me call this point here as B. So it is OABB dash. So let us shade it into a different color. Now clearly as seen from the figure, if I add these two areas, if I combine these two areas, then we actually have the area of the trapezoid twice because this portion folds over to this, correct? We know that the area of triangle B, B dash, this is B, this is B dash, B, B dash, C is equal to area of the triangle B dash C C dash right now 
we know this is as per the figure show that those two areas are same right so twice area of trapezoid is equal to the magnitude of vector a h cross q plus magnitude of vector h cross p correct so so area of trapezoid will be what half of this right we could also write these areas in terms of uh, magnitude and the angle the angle is 90 degrees so so this particular thing can be written as magnitude of h times magnitude of q times sine of 90 degrees is 1 so we'll write, just write like this plus again we have magnitude of h plus times magnitude of p right since we know that sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1 correct and uh, we have written this because a cross b is equal to magnitude of a times magnitude of b times sine of angle between them in this case the angle is 90 degrees between h and q and sine of 90 is 1 so we get this so basically it is twice the magnitude if you add these two we get two times magnitude of h times magnitude of within bracket uh, sorry so it is h so so we have here magnitude of q plus magnitude of p is that clear so half of this so which is a standard formula which we can write down here that area of this trapezoid in this case we are using a right angle trapezoid is magnitude of h times magnitude of q plus magnitude of p over 2 is that clear to you so so we get this uh, particular formula which is a standard formula to find the area of a trapezoid using cross product in the case of a right angle trapezoid so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best